Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Season 4, Episode 19 of Supergirl called American Dreamer. So we start off the episode with Kara is working really hard and she's really just focused on work. Then we cut to where Dreamer is helping people. And then we cut to where Brandon is also helping her, but he hologrammed help. <laughs> and so he wasn't really there because he's technically still with the DEO. Then we cut to where Lena is trying to help um, James, but every panic attack that he has, he gets a new ability. And so she kind of gets frustrated and leaves and try to figure out a way to uh, extract the hair nail. Then we cut to where Kara is working in overtime and it's, she's literally going almost a little bonkers, but, but um, she's doing it like an efficient way. She's like reading all the paperwork and it's creating a um, visual about everything and trying to locate everything. And then we cut to where Brainy wants to do a mind palace, which helps, um, well, which will help James with the panic attacks to go to the root problem to help him get out of it. Then we cut to where Children's of Liberty are raiding people and they take away this um, woman's husband who's also alien, but they decide to let her go. And then we cut to where the, um, Ben's kid is starting to have doubts now because he got because he, he saw that he's very unsure about that now but uh, his dad tries to put him straight and takes on a few more patrols which I don't think it's kind of smart to do that to a 14 year old but anyway and so we cut to where Carr talks to Franklin's sister because uh, Franklin is uh, Carr's co-worker and he's currently living at Katka because he's so scared because he is an alien. But, um, he, so he, she does meet with her and basically, um, she will let her come to the office, but well, I'm jumping ahead. <laughs> so anyway, we go back to Brainy, who starts the Mom Palace and basically they're at the Daily Planet, but the man we saw over the place and, um, outside of that, he did heat vision. <laughs> And then they went back into it, and there's a funeral, and he's at the funeral. And um, then we cut to where uh, Cara's at Meritex, and then uh, they almost get busted, her and the uh, frequent sister, so they, uh, she backs out and kind of runs for it. She's like, I can't be a part of this. Then we cut to where uh, Lena failed um, her experiment on instructing the hair nail. And then we cut to where James wasn't at the funeral and, you know, he said he locked himself in, in a diner until the funeral's over. And so the sister leaves the room, so Alex goes and talks to her and basically she was upset at the funeral, calling his name, expecting him to show up because he originally said, well, you know, we'll get, this, get through this together and everything, but he never showed up. Then, um, and she was... Super upset at the funeral, which was understandable. Then we got to where Kara found a clue and goes to visit Lena. So she knows a, a discrepancy in the books. Like a $5.2 billion or something. So she goes to visit Lena and Lena is very icy towards Kara. And I think that's um, a little bit misdirected. But I was like, oh, she'd be icy. <laughs> And we cut to uh, Dreamer uh, found an alien uh, refugee place, which was used to be the dive bar. And then the Children of Liberty show up, and um, Lena, I mean, Dreamer, Dreamer takes care of it. Literally handles all of them. And the kid was there as well. And he saw his friend Charlie there, who is an alien. And he was so like, why didn't you tell me? He's like, why do you think? I mean, hello. And so the kid runs off. And so uh, now that happened. The kid talks to his mom. And he's having more doubts. But the mom's like, oh no, they're roaches. You need to believe you're a dad. And he's still like... <sighs> and then we cut to where Nia talks to Kara. And then Kara got an idea. And she wants to use Nia slash Dreamer to do an interview. So, um, like, an on-air interview. And then we go back to the Mind Palace thing, and we see the correct memory. 
where James showed up early to the funeral and made a promise to his dad. Then kids show um, show up and lock him in the funeral casket. And then the um, so then then the link got severed between Brainy and James, and so the sister goes in like fully aware of like what might happen and um so she comes for him and it's like a very emotional scene and um the sister says just to fight back and he does and he helps his younger self get out of the casket and to and then he wakes up and now he levitates as well then we cut to where uh, dream was having her photo op and then we cut to where Brainy is talking to Lena. And then we cut to where Car's on TV and does the interview. Then Lena literally breaks down about what was happening in interviews by be just being true to yourself. And, you know, it's a new day and this type of thing. And so Lena, she just literally breaks down. Then Brainy talks to her and, you know, says, like, you just got to open up to people because if you don't, you know, it's just going to bring a lot of sorrow and just be more closed off. And so, Lockwood does not like this interview at all. <laughs> I mean, at all. And he goes to Catco, and we have really cool fight scenes happening. And then James shows up and goes and handles Lockwood quick. Literally destroys his gun quickly. <laughs> And so it tells them to leave because uh, I just see reporters here. I don't see anybody else. You need to leave. And he said, like, in a very angry, aggressive voice, which I don't think we've seen from him before. And it was just, and so he leaves. Then we cut to her Franklin sister, talks to Car the next day, and gives her papers on a military permit or somewhere to build a base or something. Then Lena uh, cause, comes back at Co and apologizes to Kara, and then she confesses about working with Lex and how she felt betrayed. And at first, Kara was very shocked, but they end up hugging it out. And then she breaks it down. Then they hug it out. Yeah. And basically, you know, she just feels guilty about everything, and she doesn't know how to process it. And Kara says, like, you're a strong, beautiful woman, and... You know, it happens. You help family. That's what you do. Then we cut to where Ben Lockwood's kid is upset and literally throws the ch the Children of Liberty um, face mask at a wall and texts his friends, like, if you ever need anything, like, feel free to let me know. So we start to see him change a little bit. And then we cut to where Lena helps Kara. And then Lena cracked the code. Basically, it was Lex. He used a fake name, and he, um, they found out, like, some of the, she broke the code that he had in there is Kaznia. And then we cut to where Ben Lockwood comes home, and she sees that alien's wife, who's also an alien, um, leave his living room. And I don't know, is she off to Ben's wife, or she's just not unconscious. I'm not sure yet. We we don't really know, but we know he goes kind of postal. And then we cut to a green marshers in the desert Taz, and so he turns all the information as dashes up. He says, "You can leave now and be with your family," and so he leaves, and that's in the episode. So I gave this episode a A. I just don't like, I feel like they could have done this whole roach thing differently. I mean, it's just, I know what they're going for, I really do, but I just don't, I feel like they could have done that in a different way that made, I don't know. But anyway, I really love the episode. I like how Car is laying low and let other people handle stuff, but she's still subtly helping. She didn't, um clothesline a um bag thief so that was kind of funny it's like, oh no dad did something bad but i thought overall it's a really good episode and we get to see if the kid is starting to doubt everything and he kind of doesn't want anything to do with it and just wants to help people so i do like that part as well but um we get to see Ben is getting a little power hungry and is zooting that a little too much and he's not 
you know, they can straight out think. So I think it's going to go super po postal in the next episode. So anyway, I really did enjoy this episode, and that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please give it a like. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. Do you agree or disagree? Tell me your thoughts down below, and don't forget to subscribe because it helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all later. Bye, everybody.